Ah! Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. And to know what's today's video, just sit still and keep on watching. So our refrigerator is not freezing on this side. And look what happened to the back of this. It's frozen. Yep. Look at all the ice in here. That part shouldn't be full of ice. That shouldn't be like that. And the problem is this one right here. The heater is bad. And there's temperature control and we have a new part that will go there so hopefully this will fix the problem of the refrigerator not freezing look at all of that it's like glacier it's cold look at all of this crazy ice Because at the back of that are coils and it cannot really pump cold air because of this. The ice blocking, it's freezing. So we gotta defrost this one first before putting the new parts. This is a GE side by side refrigerator. To explain so our detail. refrigerator is not freezing it, or cooling? No, the, there's a heating element right here yeah. that that uh, turns on when this uh, temperature gauge right here tells it that these are getting too cold and it keeps these coils from freezing because cold air has to pass through those coils to keep your freezer uh, cold and also air blows in there and up top get your camera on. up top to make the refrigerator cold and the freezer has to freeze without these freezing over yeah. you should have uh, videoed this when they were all frozen with ice I know I really forgot but pretty much this ice that's right here these coils were solid ice frozen over and uh, that was keeping the, the freezer because this heater is supposed to kick on when that temperature gauge tells it melting the ice when it gets too much and draining here which goes into a, a, a drip pan underneath which uh, eventually is supposed to evaporate with air but those two elements right there uh, are very important because that keeps your refrigerator uh, cold without freezing over and keeps your food fresh. <laughs> See, it starts to freeze again. Yeah, it's already starting to freeze even though we defrosted it completely. The refrigerator doors are open. So we need to replace the heating element located down below. That's it, right? Right. Here, I can take that off again and show you. So that's the heating element. Yep. This is your heating element. And just two simple screws. So that's the see, heating element. Your two heating elements and yeah, maybe these two little sensors on the end of your elements are gone bad. Yeah, 
in any case it's probably best to replace this as well as temperature control just to make sure because from my understanding this is about 10 bucks and these will probably be about 40 bucks to replace which 40 bucks and a little bit of handiwork is yeah. a lot better than a thousand bucks yeah this is called do it yourself man right now in the 21st century you gotta do it Because see, if you go to a technician, they will charge you even more for the labor, right? Oh yeah, of you course. Know, if you go to a technician, mm -hmm. they know they can order those two pieces and put them on in yeah. 20 minutes, and, and they'll charge you a 500 bucks. Okay, so we're gonna buy those parts. Let's but, see. Let's see how quickly those things will freeze over without that heating element. Yeah, see it's freezing again. Yeah, those were completely defrosted like these. And it's freezing. It's only been ten minutes since I defrosted all of them. Wow, that is so quick. Yep. It's like the ice woman. That's why I wanted to shut this and see how quick all of those would freeze up again. Okay. See ya, people. Thank you for watching. Bye. Be sure to check out my other videos, guys. Over here, here, or here, or here. And if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. See ya.